my research, um, let's say, career started after I had a heartfelt talk with an old professor of mine, Maria Maridaki, in the University of Athens. And she gave me some really good pointers and tips on how to, to start, uh, what should I pursue in terms of studies. So I'm currently investigating how chronic metabolic disease affects skeletal muscle mass and functionality. It's actually quite surprising to me how little we still do to help chronic patients counteract the effects of the disease they suffer from on their mobility and metabolic health. Muscle is central to that process and I'm trying to help find solutions to counteract the effects of chronic disease on skeletal muscle health. We coordinate a, a European project with teams in Europe and the United States. We are investigating how different chronic diseases, whether in the cardiovascular area or kidney disease or immune disease or inherited diseases, affect skeletal muscle uh, mass and function. We're trying to improve diagnostics to understand early if our patients are losing muscle mass. What I really love about my work is that research in skeletal muscle health benefits the majority of people. Whether we're talking about healthy aging or performance or military personnel or rehabilitation or the chronic diseases I mentioned, knowing, finding, understanding ways to promote muscle health and recover quickly from problems benefits all these categories of the population. So that keeps me going, it's, it's really exciting for me. I think one motivator was my father. He had a severe disability and it was linked to skeletal muscle problems. And at the same time, I was an athlete, quite successful in basketball. So I was trying to understand why I can do some things, why he cannot do some things. So this personal motivation, I think, is an undercurrent of my involvement with this field, trying to find solutions and help, help people regain mobility, independence, and keep their health to a good standard. My advice for aspiring scientists, read well, know your subject very well. There is no excuse for cutting corners there. We have to have solid background and solid basis. Make friends because science doesn't happen in isolation. We need to have people around us. We need to have mentors. We need to mentor others. We need to be in a network. Be ambitious because at the end of the day, we put barriers to ourselves. We need to go and get what we want. My curiosity, wanted to achieve things, wanted to answer questions. Um, in my career, I have had colleagues, uh, either people younger than me that I mentor or people who mentor me of, of both centers. At the end of the day is the truth of science and the ambition that we share to find answers to key questions and help people.